हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर निखिल बत्रा इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मॉर्फिन एंड आई नेम ऑफ मॉर्फिन इन द कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ दैट प्रेजेंटली आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एस ऑफ मॉर्फिन एंड इट्स एनालॉग्स फर्स्टली वी विल टॉक अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ एस स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ मॉर्फिन एंड देन फाइनली वी मूव ऑन एस ऑफ मॉर्फिन एंड इट्स एनालॉग्स स्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए ड्रग और कंपाउंड एंड इट्स बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी इन अदर वर्ड्स वी कैन से इट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ लिंकिंग द केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ए ड्रग विद द प्रोड्यूस्ड बायोलॉजिकल एक्टिविटी एंड दिस कंसेप्ट इज हेल्पफुल टू एस्टेब्लिश न्यूअर ड्रग्स विद सिमिलर स्ट्रक्चर हैविंग मोर पोटेंसी एंड लेसर साइड इफेक्ट्स this is the structure of morphine please take care of the numbering that is being mentioned here and important structural components are also highlighted here now we talk about the sar of morphine and its analogs the naturally occurring isomer of morphine is levo rotatory isomer dextro rotatory morphine has been synthesized but it is devoid of analgesic and other opioid receptor activities a number of structural variations or morphine have given many compounds that are available in the form of drugs sar of morphine can be divided into below mentioned six components the first one is the aromatic ring a and the basic nitrogen second is substituent to present on a nitrogen atom third is changes in hydroxyl groups fourth one is changes in ring c fifth is removal of 3 4 epoxide bridge and morphinens and the last one will be the 14 hydroxy 6 keto derivatives now we talk about the aromatic ring a and basic nitrogen both of these features predominantly exist in protonated form at the physiological ph both features are present in compounds showing opioid analgesic activity it means they serve as necessary components and must be present in potent mu receptor opioid agonist second part is the substituent present on the nitrogen atom this particular feature is critical for the degree and the type of activity that is displayed by the compound in general we can say a tertiary amine is necessary for good opioid activity size of substituent present on the nitrogen atom determines the potency of the compound and whether it will serve as the agonist or antagonist if methyl substitution is present and at the nitrogen atom then the compound must have good agonist properties if we increase the size of nitrogen substituent 3 to 5 carbon atoms then the compounds obtained have antagonistic properties at some or all opioid receptors if more larger substituents are present on a nitrogen atom then activity returns to the agonist type now the next case is if phenyl ethyl substituent is present at the nitrogen atom then the compound is 10 fold more potent as a mu receptor agonist than the corresponding n methyl analog this particular discussion can be summarized in the form of table that is this is the table in the second column various substituents are present and the fourth column is being representing the different type of pharmacological activity if methyl group is present at the nitrogen then the drug is morphine obviously it has the analgesic activity if ethyl or propyl moieties are present then there occurs decrease in agonist activity and increase in antagonistic activity 
द फोर्थ केस इज इफ ब्यूटाइल मॉइटी इज प्रेजेंट एट द नाइट्रोजन देन द ऑप्टेन कंपाउंड इज टोटली इनएक्टिव इट मीन्स इट डज नॉट हैव एगोनिस्ट और एंटागोनिस्टिक एक्टिविटी and further if we increase the size of the alkyl group that is there is the case of pentyl or hexyl there occurs increase in potency as the agonist and the last case that we have just discussed about that is presence of phenyl ethyl moiety more potent mu agonist compound is obtained now the third part is changes in hydroxyl group a number of structural changes on morphine have given compounds and are available in the form of drugs in this particular category first example is the codeine codeine is the derivative of morphine it can also be mentioned as methyl morphine it is a potent antitussive agent as we can see in the structure there is the change this is the change and uh, what is the change is here in case of morphine at third position oh group is present but in case of codeine methoxy group is present that is remove the hydrogen and attach methyl group or in other words remove the oh group attach the methoxy group you will get the codeine having potent antitussive activity second example is the 3,6 diacetyl derivative of morphine which is commonly known as heroin this particular drug rapidly penetrate into the brain after intravenous dose and converts into a potent mu receptor agonist and responsible for euphoric rush and this is the case how morphine can be synthesized simply we have to do acetylation of morphine by using acetic anhydride both the hydroxyl groups present in the morphine positions are third position and sixth position that is these positions are the third and sixth positions and the hydroxyl groups present on these positions will be acetylated that is morphine will be converted into diacetyl morphine and this particular reaction increases the hallucination of the morphine and uh, because of only this reason acetic anhydride is the controlled chemical in body what happens we talk about in body 3,6 diacetyl derivative of morphine that is heroin converts into 6 acetyl morphine this particular reaction occurs in the presence of the esterases enzymes which are being present in the body in the serum and tissues and this 6 acetyl morphine has more mu agonist activity than morphine now we talk about the next category that is changes in ring c changes in c ring of morphine or codeine lead to the compounds having increased activity first one is the hydromorphone hydromorphone is the 7 8 dihydro 6 keto derivative of morphine as the name suggests that is we have to change at two positions that is 7 8 dihydro sorry remove the double bond and replace the hydroxyl group with ketone at sixth position then we will get hydromorphone which is 8 to 10 times more potent than morphine second example is the hydrocodone this is the 3 methoxy derivative of hydromorphone if we compare the structure of hydrocodone with the hydromorphone we only need to do only one change that is at third position simply convert the hydroxyl group into the methoxy group this hydrocodone is more active than codeine now the next category is removal of epoxide bridge and the morphinens removal of epoxide bridge in morphine morphine gives the compounds that are known as morphinens 
this bridge cannot be removed from morphine by synthetic procedure that is morphine ends need to prepare by synthetic procedure separately and which gives compounds as racemic mixtures out of this racemic mixture levo rotatory form possess the opioid activity and dextroisomer possess antitussive activity this is the structure of morphine and ring need to remember this structure two morphine and derivatives are here first one is the levorphenol it is approximately eight times more potent than morphine as an analgesic and uh, if we talk about the structure simply one oh group is present here in comparison to the morphine and ring second example is the butorphenol in this case there are two structural changes we need to attach hydroxyl group this is the hydroxyl group which is present at the 14 position and need to attach cyclobutyl moiety at the methyl moiety which is present at the 17 position butorphenol serves as mu antagonist and kappa agonist next category is 14 hydroxy 6 keto derivatives the opium alkaloid theban can be synthetically converted into 14 hydroxy 6 keto derivative of morphine in general Presence of 14 hydroxy group enhances the mu receptor agonist activities and decreases the antitussive activity. In this particular case, first example is the oxycodone. If we compare the structure of oxycodone with the previous structures, we can consider the three structural changes. The first one is the presence of hydroxyl group at 14 position presence of ketone group at 6th position instead of OH group and presence of methoxy group at 3rd position instead of phenolic hydroxyl group oxycodone is about as potent as morphine when given parenterally in the body Second example is the oxymorphone. If we compare the oxycodone and oxymorphone, there is only one change that is at the position third. In the case of oxymorphone, hydroxyl group is present at third position. Third example is the nalbufene. This is the structure of nalbufene. Now there are two structural changes in comparison to the oxymorphone in nalbufene. First one is the presence of hydroxyl group. This is of 6 alpha hydroxyl group at 6th position and presence of N cyclobutyl methyl moiety instead of N methyl moiety. Nalbufene acts through kappa receptors. It has approximately half analgesic potency than morphine and it serves as an antagonist at mu receptors. Fourth example is the n allyl nor oxymorphone that is naloxone. In this particular structure only one component a structural component is highlighted that is presence of allyl moiety instead of methyl moiety at the nitrogen atom fifth example is the n cyclopropyl methyl nor oxymorphone as the name suggests that is presence of cyclopropyl moiety is required at the nitrogen atom this particular drug is also known as naltrioxone and both of these drugs are pure opioid antagonists both are slightly mu receptor selective and antagonists at all opioid receptor types so my dear students agar aapko ye video acha laga ho to aap ise like kar sakte hain share kar sakte hain thanks aaj ke liye itna hi